What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we're back with another 2-in-1 WWE Elite Series 105 review, and we are finishing this setup today with Carmelo Hayes and Io Sky. Now, these are very good-looking figures. We did review the rest of the figures in the set. If you guys are interested in Steiner and Braun, or you're interested in Dominic Mysterio and Johnny Gargano, those reviews are live on the channel, so definitely go check those out. But we've had a lot of figures come through the door, man, and I'm excited to dive into these today, as both of these do look good. Part of WWE Elite Series 105, wrapping it up today, we have Carmelo Hayes, an upcoming star, and EO Sky, who is a star in her own right. And both of these figures look pretty damn good. We got some good cloth goods in here. I'm very excited for this figure. Still hate this packaging, man. Damn. Nonetheless, he's looking pretty fire right there. You know, he's got an image of the guy on the side. The series on the back, you get another image of the man there. Little bio read. Rest of the figures in the wave, which we've already reviewed. And then, of course, the name on the side, of course. And then you do have EO Sky over here. They always try to get that one female figure into the line. And this one's looking like a damn solid one, man. I'm liking this a whole lot. You have a picture of EO there, picture of EO there, and pictures of EO all over the place as the rest of the wave is down there as well. But if you guys are already interested in this set, you already like what you see, you want to put these figures in your collection already, you're like, where can I get these? Ringside Collectibles Wrestling Figures.com is your one-stop shop for all things wrestling action figures, AEW, WWE, doesn't matter, accessories, play sets, all that stuff is available over there. Use code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. But with that being said, man, let's go ahead and crack these guys out of the packaging, find out what they're all about, and see if we can get some good stuff going with Carmelo Hayes and EO Sky, man. Let's crack them out of the packaging, put them on the rotating base, and find out what these figures are all about. What you got? All right, so here's EO Sky and Carmelo Hayes out of their packaging, man. Liking what I'm seeing so far out of these figures. You know, we got some good stuff going on with both of these. Will they remain perfect, though? And where will they fall in our ranking when we get to WWE Elite Series 105 and ranking that entire set? We got some more reviews to knock out before we get there, of course, and some other videos to get there. But it should be a fun video when we finally do rank WWE Elite Series 105 because I think overall the set is very high quality. And you guys know in this day and age with Mattel figures, it's very hard that we find, or it's very rare, I feel like, nowadays to find a figure that is just completely off the mark and so you're kind of just having to pick through your favorites out of the out of the litter because there's so many damn good figures in these waves nowadays but nonetheless man we're gonna dive into Carmelo Hayes figure first and then dive into the EO Sky figure after that so buckle the hell up and let's dive into Carmelo Hayes. Alright guys so getting into Carmelo Hayes accessories we get some good stuff right here cloth goods included which is always a bonus. Now it's not just cloth goods man I mean you have this nice faux fur jacket right here I don't think any animals were harmed in the making of this jacket maybe the official jacket. I'm not entirely sure. The one that he actually wore, maybe? I don't know. But this is a damn good jacket right man in here. I mean, this is a, good, a damn good football jacket. You know what I'm saying? He's got the fur at the cuffs right there. you got the black all over. It looks really, really good. No bendy wire or anything, but this will suffice. I will never, ever shame the cloth goods. This is very nice. It's going to fit the figure well, as you guys saw. So, this is all good and dandy for me. I really enjoy this. think it looks pretty good. I, we're going to try and put this on a Seth Rollins later, so stay tuned for that. So, this is a great accessory. I mean, yeah, no complaints from me. It's a very very nice material, feel soft. Knocked it out of the park on this one. Now, outside of that, we do get black sunglasses, which are just state of the art, or not state of the art. They're uh, just the, these are the, you know, those Tony Stark glasses. They gave them right here. They gave them with this Carmelo Hayes figure. I meant standard or just run of the mill standard sunglasses. Sorry, but on the figure they look nice, so that's pretty good. I think it fits well, fits the head sculpt well. This is good stuff right here. I mean, right, look at that right there. Don't think you're gonna have any issues with these sunglasses. They fit better than Scott Steiner's, by God. And then outside of that, you do get standard mic holding hands and the Carmelo. Hello, hey, skin tone, and then you get fisted hands to beat the hell out of people. So you get just standard fists and mic holding hands. All right, man. So getting into Carmelo Hayes, starting out the head sculpt. I think it's a solid head sculpt. I think it's not like it doesn't nail it, and I don't know if I like the goofy smirk, but at the same time, I like it. I think it gets the job done. I think that they honestly could have went a different direction on the torso and formula, but at the end of the day, I think it captures pretty well. However, I do have some gripes with the figure, but head sculpt's not the worst. I do like the hair sculpt and everything. I like the you know the hairdo and the sculpt and the fade on there looks really really good. Terry Funk torso, man. Terry Funk torso going on right here, which is a very cool choice. You know, not my favorite choice, maybe, for Carmelo Hayes, but much better than a Daniel Bryan torso or something like that. And I wish they would utilize this on other guys more in the future, but I digress. That's a whole other video for a whole other day, but he does have his tattoos here. He even has his tattoo on the back right there, which is a Bible verse, I do believe. So I do believe that says 1 Samuel 16, 7, so shout out to Carmelo Hayes. But they do have his tattoos here on the figure, and then you got the shoulder tat, and then he's got a forearm tat, and he's got black wrist tape. Now, this is probably my biggest gripe with the 
figure. I feel like the gear doesn't really capture the gear. Now the gear was supposed to be like metallic and reflective and I think getting that metallic reflective paint on here would have been so nice but it's a lot more lighter color here in the purple than it actually was but he does have his graphics going on on the side here which are pretty cool. You do have the chase figure that's going to be in red but I like the purple gear. It's unique. You know we don't get a lot of purple attire figures but I don't think it quite captured what the gear actually looked like as far as the silver shimmery purple that it's supposed to be. But he has the same graphics going down on the knee pads and then he does have the purple black and gold kick pads which look really good and these are pinless legs so I guess pinless legs are pretty much official now but they're still tight as hell. Now one thing that shocked me about this figure is actually he is on ball joints so like he, he has full ball joints right there man so that's very interesting and unique. I like that about the figure and it poses around pretty damn good. Like I know the pinless legs are stiff and everything but at the end of the day he is pretty buttery smooth. I'm not finding like a whole lot of stuff wrong with the figure in terms of articulation. Feels pretty buttery smooth to me man but as far as figure comparisons are concerned for a Carmelo Hayes figure we just have a couple of standard Ultimate Edition comparisons here with the Seth Rollins Ultimate Edition and the AJ Styles Ultimate Edition. You guys can see that this figure is actually shorter than both of those so that's quite interesting if you guys are wondering about that. I do believe Carmelo is like 5'10 or something like that so I think it works out pretty nicely but that is your Carmelo Hayes. And then getting into EO Sky's accessories you do get a Women's Tag Team Championship and two pairs of interchangeable hands. Now this Women's Championship is nothing we haven't seen before but I, I actually while I do not like the Women's Tag Team Championships for a multitude of reasons if you guys have been around the channel I've explained the reasons why and everything. It's still a good looking championship. I mean it's one of the more underrated designs I think in all of WWE. I like the championships. I do believe they're retired now but yeah good looking championship and there's actually an N in women's instead of an H like that one time with the Elite 82 Alexa Bliss. And then for interchangeable hands she does come with these like almost like rope swinging hands is what it looks like. Like web swinging style hands kind of like they're so small there but they're kind of like mic holding or weapon wielding hands but she does have the nice sculpted glove gauntlet stuff over her hands which are nice. So these look really good and you get the black peg so you don't have to deal with the skin tone leaking through. These look really really good. And then for our other pair of interchangeable hands you get like these entrance hands or like these reaching out style hands or like I guess you could call it like a selfie hand like if you were holding a phone it kind of looks like she'd be holding her phone scrolling on her phone so you get this. So I think these hands get a multitude of things done. You can do multiple things here but they also have the black peg so these are good but the sculpt on these are pretty damn nice. Alright guys so getting into EO Sky starting out with the head sculpt I think it's decent not my favorite iteration I don't think. Like it's not a bad head sculpt by any stretch but I don't think it completely nails it to be honest I do like the red and the hair and like the sculpt and everything going on like that but this gear is very nice I love the white black and gold it looks very clean very very nice aesthetic here to the gear and I think they did a really good job on it you got her double jointed pinless arms in there you do have these nice wrist gauntlets we did see this on her last elite as well it's like the black and silver little wrist gauntlet deal she wears there and you can see the pattern continues on she also has this waist wrap right here which I don't think comes off but it is like loose and it's kind of annoying I almost pulled it off like I think if you wanted to you could like break it off in the front. I thought that unclasped but that's clearly like glued on there so if I do pull that off it will break it but honestly I think I'd like it better if it was broke off but it's got like a belt and little uh tethery thing on there and then you do have the sculpts here on the sides the black and white gear. Looks very clean and everything going down. You have that same pattern on her knee pads going down on her kick pads. She has the Alexa Bliss like basic style kick pads and then she does have pinless joints on her legs. So I mean it's a solid figure overall. It feels really good in hand. She is on ball joints. She can kick around. She can rotate at the thigh. You get the double jointed knee which doesn't feel as tight as the men's figures does for whatever reason but you do get the kick pad rotation no ankle rock or anything because it is those basic Alexa Bliss boots but I'm liking the aesthetic of this figure and it looks pretty damn sweet man but how do we not have an updated Bailey by by now like am I tripping no updated Bailey but we do have Dakota Kai to compare with our EO Sky right here from damage control now I don't know how we don't have a Bailey unless I'm tripping it that way there is an updated Bailey coming soon I just don't know how we don't have it just yet but Elite 104 Dakota Kai up next to Elite 105 EO Sky that rhymed unintentional but even though they're not matching at least the gears look good up next to each other and both figures are pretty damn solid I know say what you will about the Dakota Kai but I actually like the Dakota Kai figure quite a bit I like the pink color and everything like that but these look good up next to each other so that's that's clean even though Dakota didn't come with a damn tag title so that's stupid pretty sure she didn't but uh it is cool to see these up next to each other and then for our other EO Sky figure comparison you do have the Elite 79 EO Shirai figure which is a damn good figure even though it was single jointed arms and stuff like that this figure kicked all the A everybody loved that figure it came with good cloth goods and these look pretty sweet up next to each other it's cool to see the differences there yeah so we have two different EO figures but uh, I like both of these a lot I think she's had two really stellar figures from the elites.
And then if you guys were wondering about the Seth Rollins figure with the Carmelo Hayes jacket on there, this is what it looks like. So this is pretty daggum good, man. Pretty spot on. I think you could put this on a world of characters, but the Seth Rollins came to mind. And I think it looks really, really good on the Ultimate Edition. If you guys were planning on doing that, well, there you go. You guys can judge it for yourselves, but I'm absolutely on the bandwagon for this one. But anyways, man, that's pretty much going to wrap up our 2-in-1 WWE Elite figure review of EO Sky and Carmelo Hayes, man. Damn this battery in this rotating base. But at the end of the day, I really enjoy both figures, man. I think at the end of the day, I think both of them look like the character. I think they get all the jobs done that you want to accomplish. Great cloth goods on the Carmelo Hayes. I like the EO Sky figure a lot. I think it's a lot better than her first go-around. And her first go-around was really good, so that should tell you something about this figure right here. But if I had any cons, I mean, the basic feet on the women's elites continues to bother me, and the pinless joints being so damn tight. And I don't really care for the loose, like, waist thing that EO Sky has going on. But at the end of the day, both of these figures are really high quality. Carmelo Hayes is solid. The head sculpt is probably my least favorite part about it. And the gear not being as detailed as, you know, maybe it actually was in real life kind of is gripe. But getting into it at the end of the day, I do enjoy both of the figures and I think they check off the boxes and I think you should add these to your collections if you are so inclined. Go to Ringside Collectibles, man. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% when shopping over there. Of course, get in on all the deals and use the code to save yourself some extra dough. But that is pretty much going to wrap up this review, man. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'd love to know your thoughts on these figures down in the comment section below and how would you rank WWE Elite Series 105 if you were to rank them. Did you pick up this set? Did you skip over some? Leave me all your thoughts down below, but I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. A huge shout out to our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel. Always appreciate those fellas over there. Thank you guys so very much for your continued support. You guys are the absolute goats. If you're interested in something like that, check the link in the description below, but I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later. <laughs>